what Ukrainians are eating every day. If you believe internet Ukrainians are beetroot maniacs, they are eating borscht and sala for breakfast, vareniki or holovtsi for lunch, chicken kiev, banush and serniki for dinner. Maybe when my granny was a young girl, they were living in the village and working so hard to put food on the table, like physically hard. They need all these calories to fulfill the body. But for regular Ukrainian being that is working eight hours a day near the computer and do not want to become like huge, huge, like the Ukrainian heart is, this is not the case. So what regular Ukrainians are eating for breakfast, for example? Let's check. I'm cutting some bacon, pepper and cheese, blending eggs with milk. It's easy. And put it to the frying pan to make an omelette. After I'm cutting bread, and trying to figure out hot sandwich with the omelette and greens. And I should admit this is kinda American style of breakfast, because while I'm in touch with you beautiful people, I'm literally absorbing your culture and it mixes with my own one. And I'm pretty sure that some of you also allow Ukrainian culture to occupy some places in your heart and Google it in YouTube for Ukrainian recipe. Have you ever cooked borscht in your house? Please tell me in the comments below. So what modern Ukrainians literally having every day for lunch? Guys, we are so much into porridges. For example, banish. Banosh is traditional dish of Hutsul cuisine. We discovered it during our trip to Kapetians. It's a various corn porridge cooked in cream or sour cream, seasoned with cheese and cracklings or mushrooms. My mom and granny are literally women of the house. They can cook any dish, almost any, and I'm truthful opposite. Actually, I'm more working than cooking, and they always joking on me that, Jane, you should start feeding your husband very well unless he will leave you, okay? Of course, it's exaggeration, but I thought, why I should not cook banish at home? YouTube promised me it simple. We need sour cream, milk, brinza cheese, this is goat cheese, greens and of course corn porridge. And I need to put huge disclaimer here. I'm just a amateur, so do not consider my cooking seriously. We will boil water and add milk and sour cream inside the bowl. After we will add porridge and mix it very carefully. I'm a terrible cook. Sorry, guys. Not so bad. Not so bad. Shall reduce the fire and wait for 15-20 minutes. Add salt and pepper according to your demand. We will chop brinza, cheese and cut small chunks of greens. You know, guys, I'm feeling like a candle jenner on this cucumber video. <laughs> if you know, you know. I think we need more salt. So, what done is done. Let's put it on the plate, put cheese and greens and let's try it. I'm really doing it for the first time, so do not judge me seriously. And YouTube helps me to grow new skills, guys, together with you. <laughs> guys, of course, maybe we failed original recipe because this taste is not seems like real kutsul banish. However, you can take this recipe as a basis for different variation and you're experimenting at home. And I'm promising you guys that next time my banish will taste and looks more authentically. I will practice, practice and during the hard work I will get a result. Unfortunately, in the Soviet Union time, citizens could not afford such diversity of products, groceries and foods, neither physically because they have a deficit, nor financially because they were not paid fair wages. Product shortage crisis appeared after World War II and it was worse in 1980s. All exotic fruits, bananas, tangerines, oranges, coffee and cocoa, meat and boiled sausages, all was in the deficit. 
My grandma told me she had to woke up at 5 to buy milk for kids at 8 and at 9 she had to go on work. However, deficit in Soviet Union was not related only to food. Could you imagine that roll of the toilet paper was a treasure in the Soviet Union? At the time that Soviet spaceships were roaming and expanded the universe as Soviet leaders liked to brag and there was no steel toilet paper in USSR. First it appeared in 1969 in mass production, so Yuri Haharin cleaned his ass with newspaper in the space. Toilet paper started to be produced in Leningrad region, for which the Soviets purchased two English paper-making machines from the liberal West to produce toilet paper. Yeah, dark Soviet era is over and I can afford a bunch of these guys now. Want to take one minute of your time to express my gratitude to you for patiently waiting for my recovery and not unsubscribing from my channel because you know I have got a flu and still feel slightly sick so putting my makeup and do my hair today for this video was a big step for me. But let's go back to the roots and check another variation of lunch that modern Ukrainians are eating. Buckwheat. At least this recipe I know since I was 10, it's fast. We need to wash the veggies. I'm adding sweet paper and carrot, but you can add any veggies you love. I'm peeling and cutting and add it to the frying pan with olive oil. After I will clean garlic and I have no green onion, if I had it, I would add it too. After we need to wash buckwheat and put it to the fire for 5 minutes. Shall wait a little bit and put it to the frying pan to the veggies and add some water. We need to reduce fire and wait for 15 minutes. Once ready, please do not forget about butter. Guys, and of course, thank you for supporting Jane as a content creator. Your donation on Buy Me A Coffee page make my content more educational, more valuable and mindful, what is most important. And in case you have such opportunity, it's not mandatory, it's just an optional, please check my Buy Me A Coffee page that you can find in the description to this video. Thank you and God be with you. And how we can represent Ukrainian food in the educational way, but also in the entertaining way, to be interesting, of course, through the silly festivals. And this one I have visited with that Lviv girl. Guys, today I'm with Ira and we're glad to introduce you a snippet of Ukrainian cuisine. We again visiting charity festival dedicated to Ukrainian food and part of the revenue will be transferred to Ukrainian army forces. On this festival, local entrepreneurs represented their craft food made from Ukrainian raw products. It was more than dishes and here I have got tastiest ice cream I ever tried and it was made from local ingredients. But what excited me the most, I met the guy who owns snail farm in Ternopil. Hello, my name is Andrew. I with my wife. Uh, we have a farm in Ukraine, in Ternopil district. We are growing in the farm uh, the snails, uh, helix, asperza, mule. Guys, this farm with the snails, they are proposing us just to taste it and uh, we will tell you our impressions after. These snails are tricky, tricky to catch. Nice! Owners are wife and husband. They had a great desire to create their own business which bring not only financial but also spiritual satisfaction. If someone is in Ukraine and want to try this unusual treat, I will leave website in the description to this video. Guys, can you ever imagine? This guy Andrew gave me some snails to take with me for my husband Ilya because uh, Ilya is working now, he could not come, but I now have a tasty present for him. 
Guys, I hope it will be only the first video in the food series that will follow. If this video collects more feedback in the comment below, please tell me about it. I will continue to explore and expand this topic. We can not only cook at home, but also explore places with authentic Ukrainian dishes and do gastro guide for volunteers in Lviv. Or I can try to cook recipes for beginners at home and Ilya will suffer from eating all this food, but in the and I will promise you to mastermind my skills. We cooked some porridge today. So porridge in Ukrainian is kasha. 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 Today we were cooking banash porridge and buckwheat porridge. So buckwheat. This is hrechka. Buckwheat. Hrechka. Hrechana kasha. Hrechana kasha. Buckwheat porridge. And we also cook banosh. Banosh translates and pronounced simply like banosh. Banosh. Chi banosh. This is the same. So, banosh, it's banosh. So, this was it for today, and I hope to see you soon in the next long form video. I'm able to release long form content once in two weeks, unfortunately, due to the huge overloading on work due to the high season. So, unfortunately, my work is on the first place after my family because I need to put food on my table. And I'm sorry, guys. I hope you're watching my short form content, like short daily updates that I'm doing every day. So, you are welcome. Welcome, guys. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.